turned back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Hey guys, Sips on Teddy, and here's that Q&A video I finally promised. If you don't know what's going on in this video, I'm going to Let's Play Through Portal. I'm not sure if I'm going to split this into two, top, two parts, depending on how many videos I make tonight, because I'm really not that feeling good. But I knew I, I, I want to get this Q&A video done, especially because I said I think I was going to do it last week, and I didn't get it done. So let's get started as soon as Gladys shuts up. Oh yeah, also I'm doing... uh. Uh, like a sort of speed run of this game as I'm let's playing through because this game I, I'm really good at this game This is one of the few games. I'm like a beast at and I can just go like on uh, I, I'm what am I thinking of going on? Uh, crew I can go on like cruise control and just basically play this game So this video isn't gonna be so like intense. It's gonna be more like chill layback sort of thing Especially because I'm not a hundred percent feeling good and I'll just be zooming through portal and if you want ex explanations of what the puzzles are going on don't come here also if you haven't played this game yet one of my favorite games i've let's played it once and i also did a versus with jesper with on it uh i'll hopefully put links to them in the end of the video hopefully i'm not stupid enough hopefully hopefully but let's get on with the questions first question yeah i guess it's sort of a question it says oh, i see a cube light in the mirror at 37 seconds how do you get this tell me now it's from my good friend gavin aka mr trico basically in that uh the pr i want i don't want to say promo video for this the video for this like ask me questions on uh in my room there's a keyblade in the background this is actually because uh one halloween was it it was like three or four years ago i went as uh Organization 13 Roxas, and I had, uh, like, uh, I forget the name of the Keyblade. It's, like, uh, it's Sora's first Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts 1, but it's also, uh, Roxas's Keyblade in, uh, 3, 5, 6 over 2 days. So, yeah, I was that for Halloween, and, uh, my dad made it out of one because he's a beast, and I, I, it's one of those things I look back at and cringe because he, like, he helped me with it. It was like the last day before Halloween and he worked really hard on it. My mom really worked hard on like making the black thing. I wish I could find a picture of it. I remember there's like funny pictures of me, but it's just one of those things I look back at and cringe. You gotta have one of those things too. That's pretty much the entirety of middle school for me. I just look back at stupid things I've done and I cringe. Do not submerge the device in liquid, yeah. even partially. What? Okay, there we go. That was a little glitchy. Speedrun tactics for the win. She's not even done what she's saying before I get here. And now while we're in the elevator, let's check out another question. My workspace? Uh, I think I did. Yeah, I did a video on this. I'll link it to you down below. I gotta remember to put tons of links down in the comments. Hopefully I'll just look, re-look at my questions list and then I'll get all the links for it. But, basically I just, uh, I have a chair, I play games on a TV. Basically everything I have besides like the recording software and the computer all like hand-me-downs from somewhere else in my house. And also I, I got this chair tool. It was it was my Christmas present which kind of should show how much I play video games but I'm getting my use out of it and I really like it. It's like a nice fancy office chair sort of thing. It's really soft. I use it to like play games and then I have my uh regular rolly chair that I used to use. I, I think I'll put a picture in here of what it is or I'll just link it to the video. Either or. It's fancy, fancy, fancy. And my favorite and least favorite Pokemon is by Grant and Luigi Trollface. So I I can't really say I have a favorite or least favorite. Whenever I say I have like a favorite, I always think another one I like. Like, I, right now, if I had to pick a favorite, I'm thinking off the top of my head. I'm thinking Chandelier because I love Chandelier. He's just... Oh, well, that didn't go well. He's just so cool looking. There's so many cool looking punch Pokemon. And then I'm like, hey, Munchlax is pretty cool too. And I'm like... Munchlax is my favorite. I just, there's so many cool Pokemon. And least favorite? I, there's not so many Pokemon I just hate with the passion. I pretty much love all the Pokemon, except that there's some like really stupid ones I can't think off the top of my head. But, you, usually the ones that suck are sort of cute, so you can't hate them. So, basically, I'm going the whole politic route on this, and I'm saying I don't have a favorite or a least favorite. I, I love, like, every Pokemon. I love everyone. How do I record my TV by underscore works? So, I have this thing called a capture card. It is a, uh, called a Hopodge HD PVR. You can Google that for you. But basically, uh, I plug cables into the back, and the cables come out, and they go... No, I plug cables into the back from the console, and those cables go out to the TV. And this is the easiest puddle puzzle in Portal history. But, uh... So, yeah, the cables go from the console into the capture card, and then the capture card, uh, has a USB thing coming out, and it plugs into my laptop. 
Uh, if, and if you are thinking about buying one of the new Let's Playing, do not buy a Dazzle. Go straight to the HD PVR because you're once you Dazzle's okay quality. It's only SD and Dazzle. I mean HD PVR is HD. Obviously, you're gonna end up just wasting your money because you're gonna if you if you're serious about video making. I always this is the first place I usually screw up because I never put the sport on the rates. But no, cool. But just go straight to HD PVR. It may be like a bigger price point, or you can go to some other HD capture card. But go straight to HD. You don't want standard definition. No one on YouTube wants to watch standard definition. For example, my first Portal Let's Play was in standard definition, and that looked awful. And I'm just speeding through. These first like couple uh, chambers of Portal are really boring, especially when you uh, know them so well. And it's like you spend more time in the elevators than actually doing the level. That level that we just had is the easiest one. Oh, this is where I usually first die. Let me be focused for a second. Because this is the first one where you kind of have to... You can't really tell where that red light is shining to, where you want to shoot it. I'm going to guess there. But if I screw this up, yeah. Uh, can I pull this off without kill? Oh nope, I'm gonna get myself killed. No, I'm not. Oh yes, I am. Watch this. Yep, I knew it was coming, but I didn't anyway. I'm not trying to get like a super world record speed run. I'm just trying to play through the game, and that's Please a weird effect for loading. But oh, there's the red light. How could I not see that before? I'm just trying to get through this game fast and show you that I'm fairly decent in this game. I know where my uh bad points are. If I wanted to try for a speed world record on this, I really could if I wanted to. I just... I screw up way too easily, and I, I get nervous when I know I'm doing something. Like, uh... I'm trying to think I was doing something earlier. Oh, yeah, I was I was playing music for my band, and we, uh... We recorded one song just here out sounds, and I played perfectly fine, but when I knew we were recording, and I knew I'd have to hear it back, I get all nervous and shaky. I just... Something about that, and I don't do it with Let's Playing anymore, because I know it really doesn't matter how good my gameplay is because everyone loves me so yeah not not really everyone loves me but i i just know my gameplay is not that important i just feel comfortable it's weird i don't feel this comfortable talking to people in public maybe i i don't like stepping on other people's feet when they're talking i like listening to other people that too and oh yeah this test is completely impossible you're totally right glass and did the cube go through no it didn't okay where did this cube go i'm like doing super what? Did it fall down? Okay, I'm confused. I, I'm such a great speed. The enrichment center of what the hell? Is clearly broken test chamber. Yeah, the game glitched down on me. That's why it's broken. I know Goddess in her uh, text for this uh, thing, she says, Oh yeah, this test is impossible. Yeah, if the cube freaking disappears, did any... I guess it bounced out of here and went into the incandescent particle field. Yeah, I, I know things like that for this game, but I can't remember the name of a s famous general for a history test. I just love that about video games. So, yeah, that's how I record my TV. Moving on to the next question, even though I just took like a two minute break. Uh, do you know how many Portal le Let's Plays I almost played this week thinking it was you by Saz Machan? I think it's a reference to the... Black and white Pokemon size Machan or what? I'm never good at pronouncing Pokemon's name. Pronouncing. I, I didn't do that on purpose. But it, you can actually uh, click on one of my Portal Let's Plays by uh, this week when you're waiting for this Q&A video. Because I... Oh, no. That's where that Portal goes. I do have two Portal Let's Plays on my channel that I mentioned a little bit er Excuse me earlier. Oh, well, one's on my channel. One's on LP Heroes. But... The first one, and uh, I always screw up where these things are. I didn't think I was going to slip. There's one with Jesper, which is a versus uh, on LP Heroes channel. If you haven't seen that, it's pretty interesting. Jesper's a nice guy. I haven't talked to Jesper in a while. i got to hit him up on Skype. But he's he's a crazy Norwegian dude. and eh, he was, He's one of the guys who inspired me to start Let's Playing. But him and I did a Portal versus. We did the Super Mario 3 versus, but that only lasted like a couple episodes. But it, it was a lot of fun. I, I gotta do some more videos with Jesper. I think he kind of gave up on the whole video thing, but there's a link to that down in the description or on an annotation on the screen right now. And you can go check out that or my uh, Poodle Let's Play. I think that was my third Let's Play I did, if I remember correctly, because I did Super Mario 3, I did Super Mario 1, and then I did Portal 3, and then I think I did Lost Levels. I, I believe that's right, and then Escape Craft is somewhere in there. That was fun. Ah, good old days making videos. Not that I, I like, don't enjoy them now. I really enjoy making the Bioshock Let's Play. Paper Mario got slow for a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. But it seems like it's getting a lot better, and did I do this correctly? 
Ah, oh, no, you gotta get through really fast and not have to wait for this. But while we're waiting, we can answer, What is my favorite STD? HTWV2. All of them. I love all the STDs equally because they're all equally terrible. And I don't have any STDs. Or do I? Ladies. Actually, why, why would you say ladies to that? That'd be like, I, I don't ladies, I swear. Thank you. Can you get to the little boing thing? The only thing that annoys me about this level is you have to wait. And that, I think that's like one of the mortal sins of video games. Where you just gotta sit around, where you know what you gotta do, and you just gotta chill here and wait. Max, relax, play some b-ball outside the cool. Outside the cool! Yeah, I play some b-ball outside the cool. Can I get this? Can I get this? Can I get this? Awesome. So after that joking question that I don't know why I put this in there. I think I put it in there, one, because that was the only question he asked. And yeah, I, I love all you guys, even with your silly questions. But... I think I put it in there because one, that was the only question he asked, and two, when I first made up the Google Docs for it, yeah, I don't use Word, I'm a rebel, I use Google Docs, there wasn't that many questions, but now there's like 40 comments on this video, I'm sorry I'm talking over Gladys, I've heard all of this. Oh, and she, I, I could, I could tell you what she's saying, I just heard the end of the subject ho hometown thing here, she was talking about, uh, did you know this portal gun is worth more than the combined incomes of everyone in your hometown? Yeah, the combined incomes of everyone in insert hometown here. So yeah, I I know this game back and forth, which also fits into this next comment. Did you know you can donate one or all of your vital organs to Aperture Science Self Esteem Fund for girls? Yes, indeed, I knew that because I know this game like the back of my head. I've beat this game like at least twelve times. I wanted to say twenty, but I think that's a little overestimate. And we're already almost through the first. We're already. Halfway through the yeah, I wouldn't say halfway through the game. We're halfway through the. Okay, let me let me think about this before I say it. Let me think about words before I speak them. We are at the very last uh, tutorial stage of Portal 2. This is the first stage where you finally get your double portal gun, and the next stage is one of my favorite po stages because it's really simple. But also really fun, and once you know how to do it, you can get it done in like 22 seconds. That's that's another thing, I'm not really good at speedruns. That was the right thing to do, right? No, I think I... No, because I have to go back. I think I gave myself another extra step, but hey, don't blame myself. I've I've done like 30... I think it was like 35 minute speedruns of this game. And yeah, I'm going to probably cut this into two videos, because you don't want to hear me ramble for that long. And the good old Wii, she was a... Uh, prophesizing the Nintendo console that I think already came out by the time Portal was released, so I don't think that makes any sense. And while we're in this elevator, I will take a swig of Pepsi because this is a chill video and I don't have to be professional. Like, I'm always professional with any other video. And our next question comes from- Actually, no, I'm not gonna read my next question first because I wanna see how fast I can do the stage, so I'm gonna go quiet for like 28 seconds. This next test could take a very, very, very long time. time. Oh yeah! First, please be the pass out. Incambation associate will right to revive you with peptic salve and adrenaline. Boom! I love that level because I'm a beast at it. This is probably the only game where I'll come out and say I'm really good at this game. Other games, eh, there's people who are better than me. Like, I just got owned by my friend Ben today at Smash Bros. I don't know how, but he, he's a beast with Link, so I'm like, huh, I, 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 like, switch characters every game and everyone else stayed the same characters. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be Jigglypuff. First time he plays Jigglypuff, I kick his ass with Jigglypuff. I don't know. I, and, uh, I guess Jiggly, I think Jiggly, no, he, Jigglypuff is lower tiers, because I was confused about who was what tiers in, uh, Smash Bros, so I looked it up. Jigglypuff is lower tiers than Link. Apparently, like, and I'm talking about Melee if you wanted me to tell you about that. But apparently, uh, like Fox, I forget, like Fox and something else is top tiers in Melee. It's weird, it's not what I expected. I expected Pikachu to be a lot higher. Pikachu's pretty low. I know just Pikachu's a beast in Melee. And, uh, first one. I don't think it has any subtitle. So, our next question Can you give relationship advice? Just any advice in general about relationships? So, I. I'm not really a relationship guru, I don't think you should really become the me, I've only been in one relationship in my life that's like actually serious, well, not relationship like friendly relationship like girl, boy, I think that's what you're talking about, or boy, boy, or girl, girl, I really don't discriminate, I think everyone deserves the right to love, I 
this is not going to turn into a rant about gay marriage, but I, I don't understand people who don't agree with that. They're just stupid. I, I, I forget who said this, but for the get everyone's rights passed off, we just have to wait for people to die, really, because all the old stubborn, ah, oh, back in my day, it wasn't Adam and Eve, it was Adam and Steve, or the other way around. We just need to get those old, ignorant people out of it. I, I, that sounds terrible. Hey, they gotta die, but there, there's so many ignorant old people, and partially it's because they're old and senile, it's not their fault, but... We, we just need to wait for people to die and then we'll be a nice free nation because everyone everyone in our generation is really cool I'm I'm saying I think it's just because of the internet because everyone's so free and stuff I love how I'm getting on these philosophical rants and I always I always screw this part up <laughs> even though I, that's not even anywhere near what you're supposed to do I usually screw up the bounces sometimes I get lucky sometimes it's just all over the place but but that wasn't even ah oh that was the ball coming back up okay excuse me that makes sense what? Where are you shooting it out at? Oh, maybe I have to put it right over there more. There we go. Yeah, sometimes it just bounces really weird and screws me over this part. I, I don't know. Did I get it? I'm always afraid that... Yeah. I'm always afraid to do like the speed run sort of thing here and shoot it as the ball is going to hit it because I'll get really annoyed and I forgot to shoot the portal. I'll get really annoyed if I have to come back here and I think it'll die out before it's able to bounce back. Yeah. This is one of those starts where waiting is annoying and I should probably get back to my question but let me just take care of this first. Okay. So relationship advice. I've only been in one relationship and it's, it's I think it's gone pretty well. I've been going out with the same girl for eight months. She's amazing but I, I don't really think I'm fit to give advice. I'm still young, I still haven't experienced anything, so if you're looking for relationship advice, ask an older brother, ask the parent. I really, I know, I think that's cool that you're asking me a question like that, but I really don't think I'm qualified to answer that. I, I think it's really cool that you're answering, asking me a question like that, like you think I'm some sort of authority, but I'm, I'm far from it. See, what kind of authority would jump into this weird pool of bleh, and I died again. I'm very disappointed. I screwed that up, even though this is the the room coming up. <laughs> what? I, that's not how portals work. Okay, now it fixed it. But this room coming up is one of the few uh, shortcuts I really didn't know until one of my later let's play let's bleh, playthroughs of this game. It's one of the areas I just didn't know how to shortcut, and I I remember when my first playthrough, I get really pissed off at this area, because I was playing on PC, and I suck at PC, so I couldn't get the timing right, because you're supposed to, like, uh, fall off this, and I believe with my... I, I know this game even more than I know uh, Bioshock 2. I believe this this is where, uh, something about daughter... Is it Take Your water, Daughter of the Workday, or is it the self-esteem fun? It's something about daughter. Yeah, I think it's Take Your Daughter of the Workday. But actually, if you jump off here and... Oh, I did the wrong direction. I didn't realize which way I shot that portal. But you can shortcut here. I never knew this. This is one of the better shortcuts. And if you're looking for a couple shortcut guides for Portal 1, I am probably missing a couple that I don't know about. But I, I have a huge amount of shortcuts in this. And I... Is it the level after this I like doing regular and... No Gladys clothes? That's weird. Maybe it's just the orange box version of this game is weird. So yeah, uh, that's my relationship advice. Luigi Trophies, why is my laptop lagging so much? I don't know. Does your laptop even lift, bro? I don't, I don't know, and that's probably a hardware problem. Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on? And time to wait. Oh yeah, this is the area I used for my Project for Awesome video. I remember that. For this testing sequence is currently unavailable. It has been replaced with a live fire. Course. Live fire? I love fire. Ah, uh, let's see. Next question. Do you have any hobbies? I guess YouTube is my major hobby, but I also like uh. Playing sports is fun. I, I like, I talked about this in my uh, last video. I'll, I'll put a link to that. God, I'm not going to remember to put any of these links. I talked about a, bit, a little bit in my last video with like chill talk. I was talking about uh, indoor soccer, how I like own people and knock them over. I, I like playing sports. That's fun. I like playing music. I'm a drummer. I think I've mentioned that a couple times before, but I like playing music with my friends. I like hanging out with my friends. I don't think that's really a hobby. I think that's just a thing that most humans enjoy that aren't like extreme introverts. I know I'm, a, I'm sort of an introvert, but I'm not... I don't, like, hate human interaction. Usually I'll be like, oh, I, I really don't want to hang out with people. I'd rather just stay by myself. But once I'm with them, I'm like, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad I did this. And I, I love speed running this level. It's just so much fun. Because if you, if you get your portal placements right, you just feel like a beast. 
and you just knock the portals. But sometimes you'll get that one turret that doesn't want to tip over. So hobbies, I would say, playing sports, uh, playing video games, obviously. I, I've, I've loved video games since I was a kid. Uh, playing sports, playing video games, editing videos, uh, playing music. Uh, absorbing, like, any sort of content and... I, 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 any sort of content, YouTube videos, TV shows, not really that much TV. I, cause it's just not really easily accessible. Accessible. Oh, Android Hell, and I missed the quote. I just know all the quotes for this game, cause I'm a beast. So yeah, video games, music, playing music, hanging out with friends, uh, school. And that's not a hobby. That's what I do. That's how I'm like. But I, I'm, I'm trying to do more things than just video games and editings and the stuff I normally do. I never, I always underestimate what I'm doing, but I, I want to branch out and do more stuff, but I want to, uh, sort of integrate into my videos. I, I really enjoy making videos. I just want to make them better. That's why I have those, uh, professional, uh, well, someone called them professional. I felt really happy about that. The sort of professional looking, uh, things at the end of videos that I have now. I, I'm really happy that you guys like that and it links to the other videos. I wish, I, it's gonna be kind of annoying that now my, and don't hit me in the back. Ah, I, I always screw that up. That's one. Oh yeah, you can hug the right. I forgot about that. I watched the video on it, but I, I just want to make my videos better. It sucks I can record like at night and stuff because I, I don't like bothering my family and I, it's, I find it weird just like completely speaking my mind and like everything. I, I just, you can tell in some videos when I'm making a video and then like someone comes home to my house and I, I kind of like change in my commentary style. But I, I would do it normally. I just, I wish I had like a soundproof booth or, booth, booth or something. And oh yeah, I'm going to use the weird shortcut for here because YOLO I can. I just need to get tons of cameras. But let's see what our next question is. That is my hobbies, and yeah. If you have any suggestions on things I could do, I I really want to get more into video editing, stuff like that. I, and also, I'm going to get a bit programming, too. I'm going to take, like, the Java class that my school has next year. That should be fun, and can I... Should I visit? Nah, I'm going to just get the camera from up here. I don't need to go in the Ratman's Den for it. Hello, Mr. Camera. Thank you. Uh, oh, yeah, this is a shortcut that's built into the game. I was going to say, it's not meant to be in here but uh in the like challenge levels for this game it's there and i need you camera i think i if i was leaning the right way i could have got it but basically for this little like glitch type thing you get a stack of cameras get on top of that and then you just doop a doop and then you come up here you make a portal and I'm going to senselessly kill the companion cube without thinking about it twice. But that, that's one of those really cool shortcuts. I like how the portal makers embrace these shortcuts. Like they build them into the challenge mode. So they made it so if you really think about the game, you can get these little shortcuts. But there's still other simpler ways to answer this. Oh, it can't accompany me? Oh no, I didn't totally see this from this game that came out so long ago. Murder and then, does this version freeze or it's just the still live version? Nope, just still live version because it gives you a profile picture. Uh, scariest game.